Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about first step in the data science process, business understanding. If you consider any data science project, almost 95% of them will fall under these six steps. Business understanding, data understanding, data preparation, modeling, evaluation and deployment. First, we will see the business understanding. Business understanding is nothing but identifying the project objective. It is divided into three levels. Choose a use case, identify the problem and define the project goals. Let's see with an example for better clarity. We are the data scientist. We are going to Amazon company for product analysis. You know very well they are online e-commerce company sells many product. The first step in the business understanding is choosing a use case. Choosing a use case is nothing but business defines their objectives and their problem. In simple word what is their problem and what they expect from us to give the solution for that. Together, the data science team and the company like stakeholders and employees set the goals and targets for the project. This is also where they identify the scope of the project. For example, product in the stock. Stock is nothing but the place where they keep all their products, then recommendation for that product while buying it in online. These are few examples. Once we decide the scope of the project, that is choose a use case, the next step is to identify the problem. For example, this is the Amazon website, Amazon.in for India. In this example, we are going to consider iPad. For Apple iPad, if you check the stock, it is mentioning as in stock. It means that they have a lot of iPad in their stock. Same website. If you check for Samsung Galaxy tab and if you check their stock, only one left in the stock. So the problem what they are giving us is we have to predict what will be the future demand that is how many tabs customer will be needed for every month. Based on that they can plan their stock because if you see it is only one stock in case if two users are want to buy this what will happen once a person buy this tab it will be mentioning as not on stock so what is the consequence of that if i am the customer this tab is not available in the amazon i will check it in the flipkart and i will buy it in the flipkart if the cost is almost same it means amazon going to lose a customer and also a big amount it is almost 57 thousand rupees of a business it lost just in few seconds as they didn't plan their stock properly for this reason alone they need help of a data scientist to predict the future demand of each product in addition to that whenever you buy a product it will recommend another product like whomever brought this they will also buy this particular temper glass followed by a keyboard this is called as a recommendation system for this also we will write the algorithm one more example uh, flipkart is an another uh, e-commerce website if you consider a product this particular model is out of stock and its cost is 80,000. but the same product in amazon it is in the stock it means someone going to check for this product the flipkart will lose a customer and uh, amazon going to gain a customer now you can understand how important it is for a company to predict the future demand. The best part of data science is the algorithm we are going to write for a one product can also used for the another product. Just we are going to change the data set and train the model rest of the process going to remains the same. The next step in the business understanding is define the project goal. Once we know the requirement we can't directly start the project some process needs to be followed. We will be having a discussion with the Amazon team members, stakeholders or the employees. We try to understand 
the requirement falls under which category either it's a regression model or a classification or it's going to be a clustering or anomaly detection or we are also going to include the recommendation system so we will be having a very detailed discussion with the team and based on that we will be coming up with the cost of the project and when we are going to deliver the project what are all the milestone we are going to achieve it one by one this is a very simple business roadmap but at the end for the business they want to know only two questions what is the cost when the product will be delivered from us that's about the business understanding process hope you got an idea about it in the next video we will learn about the data understanding thanks for watching happy